what if you knew that the things you believed about yourself may not be true? They may not be true because they're based on belief. And what is a belief? The definition of belief is very simple. It's an acceptance that a statement is true or that something exists, which means a belief may be based in untruth, which means you might be walking around in a false reality. You may be living from a false reality. So here is what happens. Here's what we're told about ourselves. Over and over and over, we hear messages from parents, from people we love, from people in society, even our church or even government tell us about who we are. And because we hear that over and over and over, we begin to live from this reality. But let's, let's talk about how we take in information. As we receive information, first it comes in as a thought, and if somebody telling us is using a lot of emotion, then that triggers a feeling in us and even action. So this is true on the individual level, but believe it or not, it's also true in that belief can get institutionalized. School is one of the first places where we experience institutionalized belief. Schools were really intended to prepare students to work in factories. So if you have the kind of mind that doesn't want to work in a factory or doesn't think like that, then you're the problem, not the system. So if you have the kind of mind that won't work well in a factory, you may have a problem in school. The school chooses the system over the student. And so if the student has a hard time learning, the student is blamed rather than the system needing to change. The student learns they need to change, which leads to a lot of guilt, shame, and feelings of inadequacy. School is not the only place we see institutionalized belief, though. We see it in government as well. Right now, especially, we're seeing it with the way our government treats immigrants. Always in the case of institutionalized belief, the, the institution gets blamed and we give away our humanity. Always in institutionalized belief, what we see is that personal responsibility is abdicated and we blame the system for our behaviors. In the image you see behind me, I'm sure the officer would say, I am just following orders, completely ignoring the humanity of the situation. And we can see here the impact this is having on humanity. Not only government uh, has an issue with institutionalized belief, it's the media as well. Every day we are bombarded with images from Facebook, from Instagram, and certainly in the nightly news, we see the same things over and over and over again. And because we see them so many times, we take them in as reality and believe they're true, as if it's the only reality. For instance, this image right here would make you think every black man is a thug and every police officer wears riot gear. Now, this is a problem that does need to be addressed, but it's not the only reality. It's not, this is not the whole story. The worst culprit in institutionalized belief is religion. And I say this as a, as a senior minister. Religion has robbed us of our divinity. We have been separated from our own divinity. The church has chosen dogma over humanity. Each of us in religion mostly is taught, are taught that if we cannot live up to the dogma, that we're not lovable, that God, in fact, doesn't love us, and we're certainly not welcome in church, when in fact, God loves us because we are. So what do we do with all this information? Well, there is something more than the believing. It's called knowing. We want to be knowers rather than believers. And knowing means I have a direct experience of something so I know the truth without anybody ever telling me. Knowing versus believing. When we get more into this idea of knowing, we're going to seek social situations where we are with people who are different than us, people that look different, people of a different culture, maybe even people of a different socioeconomic status, and we're going to begin living life from a higher degree of self-awareness. There are going to be things that happen where we have emotional responses. We know emotional responses are nothing more than a reaction, right, to, to, to a stimulus. So rather than acting from this emotional place and charging forward, we're going to 
have to raise our awareness. And when these reactions happen, reactions of fear, of, of, uh, of doubt, of confusion, of anger, even rage, rather than moving forward and acting on that reaction, we're going to be required to pull back a little bit, to not live from reaction, but to contemplate life from the highest perspective, to move into self-awareness, to breathe, to become centered. And when we do that, we can begin to visualize a new reality of what's possible. Visualizing this new reality is a lot more fun because we're living from truth and true knowing. What I've learned as we begin to visualize this reality and create this image in our mind that more people want to join us. So are you going to be a knower or a believer? My sense is if you're at Pachakasha, you're already a knower or moving that direction. In this knowing, what's so amazing is that we live the truth we know from this place. So rather than living from false beliefs or what anybody tells us about who we are, we live from the truth of who we are. Thank you.